Hi there, Yoga friends. I'm Jen, and welcome. I've created this channel to help you manage chronic pain, anxiety, and depression. Today's flow is about making adjustments. A very common yoga flow is moving from downward facing dog to a plank, chaturanga, and into a cobra. Depending on where you are in your body and what's going on, that may not be accessible to you. So I'm going to take you through three different variations for this posture so that when you're following along in a yoga class, you can pick the variation that suits your body. If you're new, please remember to go down to the bottom uh, right hand corner of your screen and click subscribe so you don't miss out on any other great videos. Let's get started. The first variation we're going to get into is from tabletop. So we want to have the wrists and the shoulders here in line, the knees and the hips with the toes tucked under. If you are unable to come into a downward facing dog, we're going to assume that you can come into a tabletop. If you have wrist injuries, you can always take your hands to fists or drop your forearms to the floor. Okay, So one of those variations. Instead of coming to a down dog to the plank and a chaturanga, we will take a breath in and come into a cat cow. So we allow the belly to be soft as we gaze forward and breathe in, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. And then as we exhale, we're going to round those shoulders forward, tuck the chin to the sternum and tuck the tail under. Exhale completely. We'll take a breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to take the hips back towards the heels. Now we're going to have the toes tucked under here as we take the forehead towards the floor. Instead of a cobra, we're going to inhale and gaze forward, just lifting the spine halfway and drawing the shoulders away from the ears. So we're getting that arch through the thoracic or middle part of the spine. Exhale and drop the forehead to the floor. And then make the way back to the tabletop. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lift up through the heart, lift the tail, draw those shoulders towards the hips. Exhale, round through the spine, tuck the chin, let the shoulders drop forward. Take a breath in here from this arch. And as you take your next exhale breath, take your hips to your heels and the forehead to the floor, lengthening through the spine as you draw your hands forward. Lift the body here halfway, inhale, draw the shoulders from the ears, arching through the thoracic or middle part of your spine. Exhale and drop back down. Move all the way back into a tabletop. So that's a part of a flow there that you can do if downward facing dog isn't working for you. Now if you get to a down dog but you're having trouble maintaining that um, firmness through the abdominals and maintaining the straight spine, then I'll show you some variations from there as well. Let's get into down dog. Very key here for down dog that you have your fingertips pointing to the front of the mat and that your hands are shoulder distance apart. So you don't want your have your hands too wide or too narrow. Look at the shoulders, look at the wrists, tuck the toes and start to lift the hips. Now you want to have your feet hip distance apart. A lot of times I see students thinking that their hips are really big. They're probably smaller than you think. So you want to have your feet here just hip distance apart and you press those palms of the hands forward and the heels towards the floor. Keep a slight bend in your elbows here and let your head drop down in between the shoulders. The gaze either comes softly to the knees or the navel center. And from this down dog, we'll take a nice deep breath in. And then we're going to transition right into a plank. So we set up from the plank here. We're going to press up in between the shoulder blades and draw the navel back. You want to have your hips about the same height as the shoulders. Now the next variation we'll take is with the knees to the floor. You'll notice that my hips are slightly forward here, a little bit lower than the shoulders. We turn those inner elbows forward and as we lower, the hips and the shoulders arrive to the mat at the same time. Lay the body down. We'll press the tops of the feet to the floor here 
and take the elbows underneath the shoulders. We're gonna draw the elbows back towards the hips as we lift the heart center forward and draw the shoulders away from the ears. Gaze forward. As we exhale, we're gonna lower the torso, take the hands underneath the shoulders. We'll take the chin to the floor to gaze forward. Tuck the toes, come up onto the knees and draw your elbows in towards your torso. With your navel back towards your spine, we press down with the hands and we allow the hips and the shoulders to rise again at the same time into a kneeling plank, from the kneeling plank to a full plank to down dog. And in this way, we're creating strength in the abdominal center and space for the spine. And over time, we'll build the strength to come into a full um, push up and chaturanga moving towards the floor. Let's practice that just one more time. So we'll take a breath here in your down dog, palms forward, heels back. We're going to move right into the full plank as we exhale and press up in between the shoulder blades. We'll take the knees to the floor and take a breath in. We lower on the exhale. Inner elbows point forward as they glide past the ribs. We'll lay the body down. Press the tops of the feet into the mat, the knees slightly lift, the elbows come underneath the shoulders. Draw your palms towards your heels, a sense of dragging the body forward. Lift up through the heart, take the gaze forward. Let's take two breaths here. Taking the breath really up into the top of the lungs. And on your second exhalation, let's lower down, rolling through the spine, hands glide underneath the shoulders. Chin to the floor, gaze forward. Scoop the elbows in, tuck the toes, and come up onto your knees. With the navel drawn back, press down through the palms, moving into your kneeling plank, full plank, down dog. There you go. So press those palms forward, the heels back. And we're gonna make our way now into the full variation of down dog into um, upward facing dog. So from here, we'll take a breath in. On the exhale breath, we move into the plank position, wrists and shoulders in line, heels and toes. Take another breath. And as you exhale, we lower to the floor, the elbows, Glide past the ribs as the shoulders and the hips come down together. Now we hover off the floor here, and then we lift the body forward, roll, rolling over the tops of the toes, drawing the shoulders away from the ears and gazing forward. Keep a slight bend to your elbows here. And I like this one. I love coming out of this one because we allow the navel center to draw the way. So we draw the navel to the spine, and we lift up through the hips, press down through the tops of the feet, and then we naturally roll over the tops of the toes here. You walk the feet in a little bit. Press the palms forward and the heels back as the head drops down. We'll take one breath here to rest. Our last one here. We're going to exhale, move to the plank. Line up wrists and shoulders. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower hips and shoulders arrive at the same time. Hover. Press the front of the body forward. Press down through the tops of the hands and the tops of the feet only. Slight bend to the elbows. Gaze. And to come out of this, the navel draws back to the spine. We lift up through the hips, roll over the feet, and make our way back to downward facing dog. Palms forward, heels back. And from here, we'll just take the knees to the floor. And we'll come to sit back onto our mats. And there you have it. Three different ways to move into uh, a stretch for the front of the body from downward facing dog. Over time, you will build the strength. So go easy on yourself. Maybe not easy, but have ease within your body and steadiness within the practice. And then that way you'll be able to build the practice in a way that's suitable for your body. If you have any questions, comments, or if you'd like to make a special request, please leave a comment below and I will get to you. I would love to hear from you. Have a beautiful day.